Hey guys, what's up, sauce? Earl, what's up? Back to more Call of Duty. And today, guys, ooh, 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 do we have something very special to talk about today, boys and girls? Skill based matchmaking in the next Call of Duty. If they even think. Well, it's it's not even if they even think it, it's gonna be in the next one. It's gonna be in the next one. We actually found out it's gonna be in the next Call of Duty. Spill. Spill back. I, why can't I talk? It's just every day I have I have an issue with it, like speech impediment. I don't know. Well, we've already gotten news that skill based matchmaking is gonna be it's it's back in the next Call of Duty, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys. The, the last few Call of Duties, especially this one right here that we're looking at, Modern Warfare 2019, had the probably the highest amount or like the highest curve, I guess you could say, of skill based matchmaking. Like if you play like three games, you do amazing. The next game you hop into, you're gonna be faced with players that are substantially better than the last lobbies that you faced previously, and probably substantially better than you are yourself. So it, it's something special. It's almost like you play for like an hour hour every day you're gonna have a fun time you play any more than that a little bit of a rocky road especially for multiplayer a little bit of a rocky road oh we got some shoot house headquarters my god whatever happened headquarters headquarters was such a big mode back in the day i feel like it's kind of fallen off like people don't really play headquarters like i remember headquarters was the mode back then bro it was the game mode to be playing Okay, okay. Look at the score. 0 to 84, huh? 32, 28, 18, huh? Wow, that's a mid game. Ha! <laughs> that's a mid game that I'm not gonna be a part of. Nope. I think we'll just play some stir crazy. 10v10. If I play anything else, I don't know what's gonna happen to me mentally, physically, and emotionally. But yeah, we've been getting a whole bunch of news, and obviously leaks and stuff are starting to come out with, uh, you know, MW2 coming up and, uh, you know, the trailer coming soon. And, uh, well, hopefully soon. We're getting leaks and everything like that saying that the trailer might be coming June 9th, but, you know, who really knows when it's exactly coming? June 9th is kind of the date that everybody's looking at right now, which would, uh, you know, June 9th? That's like, what, two weeks? What's today? Yeah, June 9th is in like two weeks, so that would be yeah, that'd be amazing. We get a oh my god, if we get an MW2 trailer in two weeks, it, 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 dude. Once the first trailer comes out, because we've got like a teaser trailer, just like that MW2 logo. We haven't gotten like official gameplay or like what the game looks like. Once we get that, whoo, then then the action starts to whoo, then it starts to get a little crazy out there. Then the video starts to come out there, and then the leaks start coming out, then the gameplay leaks start coming. It starts to get crazy. I cannot wait for the trailer, and then we're gonna go over the trailer. It's gonna be exciting. We're gonna you know go over it as a family together as the OT game community. God, where's my apple juice? I need to go get it. All right. So, all right, we got it. We got the apple juice. The, 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 the beautiful, beautiful... Look at this guy. Killed me from spawn with the FAMAS, huh? Wow, you actually got a free kill on me. Wow. Last one you're gonna get. Look at this. Not gonna lie, that apple juice just fills me up with you on the inside. It really does. It definitely is the drink for me. And gaming in general. It really is. It's the goddamn drink. Come through, come through, come through. I want this kid to come through. I want him to come through badly. Betty just goes all the way around and kills me. No. Is he gonna push? What's this man doing? We're not even gonna talk about what happened. Hey, people still use shotguns. Hey, hey, what are we in 2022? This game's three years. Disgusting. I can't believe it. Absolutely disgusting. Don't put my mouth. But yeah, now that, uh, you know, MW2 is, uh, you know, the release is starting to come out, you know, skill based matchmaking has been, you know, a topic of conversation for a very long time when it comes to Call of Duty and, you know, especially the, you know, the more recent Call of Duties because the skill based matchmaking has been absolutely insane, the, you know, more recent ones. And for me personally, I never really had the biggest issue with skill based matchmaking. It's just how the game is. It's just, it is what it is. I'm kind of okay with it now. I'm, uh, I'm pretty much used to it at this point. It's nothing crazy for me. Like, you know, skill based matchmaking. Ah, uh, whatever. At first, of course, it was a uh, a bit of a doozy. I didn't know what the hell they were thinking, and I, uh, <laughs> but at this point, I feel like everybody's kind of used to skill-based matchmaking. It's not going anywhere, and you know, I, I I kind of understand it. If you're a bad player and you get against you know really good players, you want to be put in a lobby with you know other players that are at your level. I understand that, but uh, the only thing, only problem that I have with this whole you know skill-based matchmaking and everything like that, the only thing that I'm kind of well not kind of against, the only thing that I am a hundred and fifty thousand percent against and have always been against is disbanding lobbies that has been the one thing that i think has completely ruined lobbies in call of duty especially multiplayer i feel like it has because think about it bro i have met so many people from just staying in lobbies in multiplayer just staying in the same lobby consistently over and over again but the fact that they're disbanding lobbies now come on come here Come here, come here, you two. I'm just gonna get you all. Who else is here? Oh, 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 oh. How did they get a veto? How, how was that even? Uh, how did that even happen? But yeah, disbanding lobbies. Uh, yeah, I never really uh, the disbanding lobbies thing. I've hated that for the longest time. Ever since it was introduced in this game, I've always hated the disbanding lobbies. I've always thought it was just a disgusting thing to put into Call of Duty. I despise it. I really do despise it. I really hope that they could, you know, eventually change that and fix that. But I don't think they ever will. I really don't think they ever will. This is exciting for this guy, huh? 
exciting, huh? Jesus Christ, I can never stay on the floor longer than that. My God, I completely forgot there's actually chickens on this map. My God, I, I don't think there could be anything that would, you know, shy me away from Modern Warfare 2. I really don't. I, I honestly, unless maybe Juggernaut is a perk or something like that. But even then, I, I don't think I could be sure, like shy away. I'm so excited for the next Call of Duty, boys. You guys don't even like actually know. I, I really don't. Uh, I'm so, I'm, I'm ready. I'm prepared. I, I've been pretty much waiting for, it seems like two years now, you know, ever since this one. It, it, it seems like such a long time. I've been on. Yeah, you're 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 such a skilled player. I, uh, first of all, I had my shot not hit. Second of all, take a gander at this. Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Oh, there's Victor. My God, I never really liked that game mode at all. The uh, the what is it? Is this kill confirmed or is this no? Yeah, grind. I never really understood the game mode. It's pretty much just kill confirmed mixed with a whole bunch of other shit. I, I never was a fan of it. I still think they keep adding all these game modes, stuff like that, to Call of Duty, which I understand. They gotta you know keep updating the modes, make new stuff. I get that, but I feel like domination is still one of the godliest game modes in Call of Duty history. I feel like it's still it's just the way it's got to be one of the best ones and drop zone too dude does this game have drop zone does it free for one no drop zone huh that like drop zone drop zone was a lot of fun but yeah the skill based matchmaking for me personally was not the the number one thing that i was always angry about because i kind of understood it you know the new players that come in they want to you know they don't want to get smacked around especially like do you guys remember though you know back in the day whenever you'd get call of duty or you've had call of duty and you'd be waiting for the christmas noobs you guys remember that christmas noobs the whole christmas noob thing i it, I, mean, I would say it's out the window that thing's been out the window into the sky the last three years it's gone out of here never coming back it's never returning there's no there, there is no more christmas noobs because those christmas noobs are in the same lobbies as other christmas noobs because of skill-based matchmaking it's honestly the most intelligent system they've probably ever come up with if you actually think about it because it's amazing for new players but you know players who are smacking cheeks like me and you you know and us not the best it's definitely not the best and just people that want to have a fun good time like i just want to stay in the same lobby consistently over and over again i like facing the same people even if you're in the same lobby it switches up the team so it was always like you know sometimes you'd be you know you've had the people like you'd always be like okay you'd, you'd see someone on the other team and you'd be like oh my god that kid right there I, I i don't want him on my team so you'd either leave you'd stay or if he was on your team you'd say you know you'd kind of you like work with him like no that man right there like, like i legit remember playing and i'd remember like seeing a name and i'd be like no 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 next game this game the man completely destroyed me next game nah next game i'm gonna completely mm, i'm gonna get him back i'm gonna completely Smack the cheeks. But no, the next game's gonna be, you know, against the new set of players. A brand new set of, you know, six players or uh, whatever game mode you're playing. It's my point. It's my point. They took away the fun. They did. Man, there was a whole bunch of stuff said on Twitter that supposedly the skill-based matchmaking is gonna be like the, you know, the intensity of it's gonna be a little lower than the previous Call of Duties. But yeah, you, can you really believe any, you know, anything like that? Like, really? They're gonna lower down the intensity of skill-based matchmaking? Like, I feel like it's, uh, for me personally, I feel like it's one setting. You know, I, I don't know how they can lower it or, you know, put it up, put it low. Like, I, I really don't see how they could do that. But I mean, hell, if they could, that'd be amazing. Just just, you know, lowered a tad. I don't know why this Jesus Christ has, like, completely missed. Jesus, how are you not dead? How are you not dead on the floor asking for your parents' help? This man's gonna come up. This man's gonna come up right here. Bet, bet, bet. Betty comes up right here. He's really gonna sit right there. Yep, he is. Wow. Didn't think people actually play like that. Huh? But that'd be it for today's video, guys. What, what do you guys think? You guys, just comment down below. Do you guys like this skill-based matchmaking? Do you guys like the whole, you know, disbanding lobbies? The Jesus Christ. Well, it just, just let me know down below. Because me, personally, disbanding lobbies, I, I never was a fan of it. Like, that's the one thing. Like, go ahead. I don't care if we keep the skill-based matchmaking. But the disbanding lobbies, just get out. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want uh. it. without further ado, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely smash the like button down below. I really appreciate it. And definitely, definitely hit that sub button if you guys are excited for some MW2 stuff. Definitely, if you guys are ready for some MW2 stuff. Because there's a Jesus Christ. This channel is going to be flooded with MW2 content when it comes out it's gonna be just 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 i promise you if you just hit that sub button you're gonna be you're gonna be, you're gonna be, you're gonna be ready for mw2 that's all i can say that's all i can say love you guys later Woo.